The data of 2.3 million people has been leaked after a hacker managed to find a backdoor into the popular dating site Meet Mindful. It's incidents like this that highlight the importance of good internet security. And step one of good internet security is a good VPN. Virtual Shield is the only VPN I'll ever use because they have a strict no-log policy and their software has been built from the ground up for privacy protection. Go to hidewithbear.com or use the link below to get 50% off Virtual Shield VPN. You can try it free for 30 days, so you've got nothing to lose. If I was to refer to you as darling or babe or something like that, you'd find it offensive. Well, I think offended is quite a strong term. I mean, you know, I'm a comedian in a feminist campaign. You're a what? And a what? I'm a comedian in a feminist campaign. <laughs> I get called much, much worse on a daily basis. But do I like it? Do I think, oh, I'll shop in your shop? No. I think, oh, come on, like, I'm, I'm, I'm 41 years old, you know. I just sort of think, you know, and especially when you get to the door and the, and the guy at the door is like, good afternoon, sir. Hello, love. And you're like, hold on a minute, like, if you're going to call him sir, could I have a, a similar level of respect? So I'm not, I mean, I'm not about to, you know, cause a, a firestorm when it happens. I don't think anyone should be locked up. Mm. But I think if you work in a shop and you want to give good customer service, the surveys say about two thirds of women don't like it. So some don't mind. But if you're not sure, well, the best guess is to say, is to say something else. Our, right. po our poll disagrees with, with that. That 88 percent of people say that they wouldn't be offended by someone calling them dumb. But isn't That's that who's answered the, the poll? Though, isn't it? That's like people who feel strongly about it. Most people are at home. Do you know what I mean? It's that thing where if you do a survey and say, "Have you been burgled?" Everybody's been burgled because you don't bother answering that survey unless unless it, it means something to you. Well, Kate, wouldn't that mean that most people who answered the poll have been called darling babe or sweetheart at a supermarket checkout? You know, that poll where 88 per cent of people said they wouldn't be offended by it. So I think it's like... I'd like to think that our viewers had uh, quite a, a full well -rounded representative, sample representative opinion. Of the uh, British why why is there probably. a problem with this, uh, with this, Kim? You know, maybe, maybe it is time to say, look, that's too familiar and I don't like it. It's a load of garbage. That's a load of garbage. I think a majority of us do it in a nice way. We don't mean any harm. Hello, my love. Hello, dear. Hello. And when you just said that when you go into the grocery store, any store, um, uh, hello, sir, hello, what stores do you go into, my love? Well, that is simply, store that is simply not true, dear. You're telling porkies. <laughs> Well, but, you're well, telling porkies, to no and rubbish. You can, you can so you're, 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 this is sexist. You like. You're making sexist. Uh, so you're saying it only happens to women. No, I haven't said that actually. But you're saying they wouldn't do it as a man. No, actually, actually, no, no, no. My, very much my point is, if you go into a shop, I don't know that. For example, there's greasy spoon cafes near me, and there's an older woman who runs it, and she calls absolutely everybody darling. Um, and on, and when that happens, I think, oh well, that's just how she talks. And it's not that I necessarily like it, but I think, oh, that's just how she talks. But when you go somewhere and they call the men sir and the women darling, then I think, hold on a minute, if you're going to be nice and respectful to him, why not give me, the, why not call me madam? If he's sir, then Isn't I must it? be madam. Surely that's only you see that I, go, I, I must tell you this now, and I go shopping a great deal. <laughs> I have never heard somebody's hello sir, hello darling. Are you talking tripe? Well, you're making it move, as you're going along. Let's move away from the... Let's move away from the... No, eh? but if you... No, no, I, <laughs> you see, stop the sexist lark, because I go shopping a lot. The lady on my till says to men, hello darling, how are you doing? How's the wife? Hello darling to me. She doesn't just say it to me. You're just looking for something to say, dear. You're talking tripe. Uh, you don't go in and say, it's no it's man's going to say, hello, sir, hello, darling. All right, Where you yeah, it, 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 it is Where a, she go shopping? Kim, Kim, it is a discussion, so she's entitled well, she's to she's not telling the truth. Then well, please she's, tell she's the a, truth. If she's experienced that, then that, that's... Have you a, ever experienced this? Uh, it's not our debate. I've never experienced it. They're always either formal to everyone and say, hello, sir, hello, madam, or they're casual and call everyone love or darling or whatever. I think she's full of shit. What is wrong with you, woman? <laughs> we are living on this earth today. Yeah, and I just, you had, your, you had your five, shut up. <laughs> We're living on this earth today. <laughs> Stop Ooh, it, you won't change too. me. Yeah, you're the one that's creating. We're living in a troubled world. We know what's going on in this country. If I go in and say, hello, my love, I think, ah. But him, I'm not looking. You're looking for the... Before you tear their heads off. But, but Kim, no, it's Kim. nothing. And you see a little old lady Kim, sitting there earning right. a few Look. bob. And she says, hello, darling. And you say, don't call me darling. But Kim, Guess her life. You're... <laughs> Guess 
her life. Yuck. Yes, her life. Yuck. That old lady is fucking awesome. She's exactly what Kate Smirthwaite, the feminist comedian, needed. She's known for fabricating complete shit to try and highlight yet another way sexism is a big problem in society. Fantastic stuff. Recession, session. Session, session.